Are hair transplant permanent? This is a very important question to understand if you're looking into a hair transplant. Now I'm going to break it down into two different parts. The first part I'm going to talk about is the hair that we actually transplant, is that permanent? So to that question, I would say yes and no. Because at the end of the day, you have something called a safe donor area. Now the safe donor area is a quite a thin strip of hair that runs around the sides and the back. Now everyone's safe donor area is different. Some are wider, some are a bit smaller. But with FUE, we take donor hairs from a large area. So we don't know which of those hairs will survive for the long term and which will actually miniaturize because of the actions of DHT. Now that's why it's very important to stay on treatment because while most of the hairs that we transplant are probably gonna be permanent, some of them might still fall away. So treatment is very important to protect you against that. Now the second part of it is, let's say that all the hair that we transplant is permanent and does survive. Well, what about your native hair? Because remember, what I'm doing with a hair transplant is I'm filling in gaps where you've lost hair and I'm making it into a complete look of density. Now, let's say I fill in the frontal area, I fill in the temples, and it looks fantastic. But over time, your native hair starts to recede back and now you've got this gap between the permanent transplanted hair and the native hair that's receded. Well, in that case, your hair transplant isn't permanent because you're gonna need another to top it up. I hope this makes sense, and if you have more questions, stick around. I'm gonna do my absolute best to try and answer all of them.